Food pouches are quickly becoming the most popular type of baby food on the market. And while the occasional pouch can be part of a healthy diet, doctors and nutritionists are raising concerns that an over-reliance on pouches can interfere with nutrition and other developmental milestones. Joining us this morning, local pediatrician, Dr. Namisha Amin, to talk about her take on the subject. Dr. Amin, thanks for coming in. Of course, thanks for having me. All right, so how much is too much when it comes to these food pouches for nutrition? They're so convenient. We all know that as parents. They are, and they are enticing, and I think you really said the word that is key is over-reliance. I personally think pouches should be used when you don't have access to a bowl of fresh fruit or maybe even a couple of veggies. Perhaps you're on the go, perhaps you're traveling. That's when you want to use them. If you're at home, I really think that you want to try your due diligence to provide your kids with fresher foods. Okay, so what's the problem with them? Because we know they can say broccoli and pears on them but you don't really know the proportion of broccoli to pears that you're getting in there, right? Right, right. And they, there's lots of problems with them. I think first and foremost, kids need to use their jaws to eat. They need to experience different flavors, different textures. They need to see how their mo food moves around on the plate. They need to feel it with their hands. This is all part of the sensory experience that goes with eating that will then facilitate eating new types of food as they become older. The pouches tend to be overly sweet, and that's why the kids take them, but it tends to worsen the problem of my kid doesn't eat veggies mm -hmm. because we're never exposing them to it. We're never asking them to try something that just tastes a little bit more neutral, mm -hmm. um, and it can result in you know use, not using your jaw as much into speech issues and dental issues because oh, wow. a lot of the times the the puree form of this is kind of sticking to their teeth. Mm -hmm. We use purees in babies before they have too many teeth, but it's a different issue when you're giving it to your toddler or your child who has a whole mouthful of baby teeth. Do you ever see kids coming in past toddler years even still relying on these? Oh, absolutely. I think that because they saw the monetary value in pouches, these pouches have extended all the way into adulthood. Uh, and, totally right. I, I've actually bought them before yes, for myself. 100%. I'm not going to lie. And it's because we're so busy that we have forgotten to sort of prioritize taking the time to buy fresh food mm -hmm. and wash it and prepare it. And trust me, I know it takes so much more time than just grabbing one of those pouches and it's so frustrating when your food spoils, but it is really an important step that we need to continue to do as we feed ourselves and our kids. When you're talking age range for these, when mm -hmm. should you just kind of cut this off and say, no more, we're not going to do these pouches anymore at this age? I think it depends on how much you rely on them. So I'll be totally honest with you. We have a small pack of applesauce pouches in our house, the unsweetened applesauce, because they're a great source for my kids when they are in the middle of their sports. Um, if they're playing a really long soccer game and you need to fuel halfway in between, I can't ask you to sit and eat an apple at okay. halftime, but a quick pouch actually does the trick. Hmm. But we don't use those pouches outside of those types of circumstances. Okay. If we're home, we're having breakfast, we're having lunch, we're having dinner, we try to actually use the real food foods. And again, we use those in those types of circumstances. So I don't know that we need to cut it off. I think more so using that gauge of, okay, am I home? Am I in front of my refrigerator? Can I give my kids real food, even though it takes a little bit longer time, right. and just use those as a backup when you're in a bit of a pinch. Right, and even if you are just in the car, you could carry a bag of apples as easily as you could probably carry a, a box of pouches yeah. in your car. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Of course, thanks for having me. We'll be right back after this.